Drifting along the ocean's surface on a gas-filled sack, a Portuguese man of war trails a curtain of tentacles up to 100 feet long through the water. Paralyzing stingers sweep up the slow and unwary. Humans suffer severe pain. Smaller animals don't suffer for very long. They are dragged into the man of war's mouths. That's right, the man of war has more than one mouth. In fact, it has more of everything. The man of war is a colonial organism. That means it's made up of different animal types that bud from a single embryo and join together into one superorganism. Each variety of animal in the colony is called a zoid. So just imagine the aquatic equivalent of Siamese quadruplets, each of which has a specialized task. One zoid specializes in flotation. Beneath that zoid are others that specialize in eating, breeding, and hunting. Each eating zoid will digest a bit of the fish and pass the nutrients along to its other colony members. A single man of war is a deadly hunter, but man of wars are known to gather in swarms of thousands, making their part of the sea a dangerous place to be. 